Tonight's lesson, Everyday Math 10.1, is on pan balance problems. So what we're going to do is try to make sure that the, the whole time we're walking through solving a problem, that we make sure that, that the pan stays in balance the whole time. So it always needs to stay in balance. That's the only real rule that you have to remember. So what we're going to try to do is figure out what does one of these trapezoids equal in terms of paper clips? So let's first take a look over here. How many paper clips do we have? And I kind of group them in four so you can see there's one group and here's another group and another group. One more here and one here. So we've got one, two, three, four, five groups of four, which is 20 plus one more. So we're starting out here with we've got 21 paper clips, uh, I'll call that C for clips, and one trapezoid on this side of the pan. And over here we've got three trapezoids. Okay, so let's see, what can we do with this? Let's start by going, all right, the way we approach a problem like this is first let's take out one trapezoid here, we're going to set these down to the bottom, and take one from this side. So because we know we've taken the exact same thing off of both sides, it remains in balance. And then what we have here is we know that we have two trapezoids that equal all of these 21 clips. So let's go ahead then and take out half of the paper clips and half of the trapezoids. So I'm going to go ahead and take out one here. And then this is a little bit tricky because we have an odd number here. So let's see if I can figure out how to do this. Um, let's group these. Let's do this. Let's see if we can group that part. So we'll take those out. And let's group the next section. Whoops. Hopefully I just got the four. Let's see. Move those out. So let's see if I can extend the page. There we go. All right, so we've got taken two groups of four. So we've got eight, but I know that I've got to take out more than that. So let's go ahead and see if I take out the next section. Then I'm going to have taken out 12. So what I need is to take out 10 and a half. So this will be, let's see if we can do this. Let's just grab one here, grab this one here, and hmm, it's going to be fun to figure out how to do this. I'll draw, let's see, we're going to chop this one in half. So let's come up here. Uh, we'll grab the red one and say we're going to cut that in half. So down here we've got, let's see, half of that paper clip, and then I'll put the other half, let's see, draw that right here. Here's the other half, half of a paper clip. Okay, so let's just double check. Oops, we've got four, eight, ten and a half, and four, eight, ten and a half, and ten and a half plus ten and a half is twenty-one. So now I'm left with over here, instead of this, I have one trapezoid. And over here, I have 10 half clips. So I could say that one trapezoid is equal to 10 and a half paper clips. So this next problem, you have pens and clips. And you start out with on the left side, we have, let's see here, one, two, three, four, five pens and 10 paper clips. And on the right side, you have two pens and 40 paper clips. So remembering that we have to keep the pans in balance at all times. So the first thing we could do is take a look at these clips. If I completely, oops, there we go. 
if I get rid of these 10 clips altogether and then get rid of 10 over here, my pan is still going to stay in balance. So if I subtract 10 from this 40, I'm left with 30 paper clips. There we go. And so now I'm looking at what else can I do to, to help me figure out what is the value of one pen in terms of paper clips. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of these. Let's see, I'm going to actually use put the pen down. Oops. And just do it this way. So if I take these two pens and get rid of them, then I've got to take two pens out of the other side as well. So now I'm still keeping my pen in balance. And so now I'm left with, I've got three pins over here and I've got 30 paper clips. So you can just, you can see that I've got three, so I would need to take the, the pile of paper clips that I have here, imagining that there are 30, and divide them into three equal parts. And so we'll come up with, with the final outcome is that one paper clip, if you take the 30 and divide it by three, you have 10. So one paper clip is equal Sorry, one pen is equal to 10. And whoops. Let's see if I can grab a paper clip. So there we go. So one pen is equal to 10 paper clips. All right, so moving on to the next slide. I'm sure you've noticed that the, the difference is that instead of using the visual images of the pens or the clips, now we're just replacing those with letters. Um, so this is the very same thing that you can think about in terms of when, when we're working with algebra. Um, just those, uh, these just represent the thing we're talking about, okay? So we have 10 C's and 5 P's, so 10 paper clips, think of it that way, plus 5 pens is equal to 2 pens on this side plus 40 clips. So what we want to come up with is fi to figure out um, one pen is equal to how many paper clips. So let's start by doing some balancing. I'm going to get, oops, sorry about that. And I'm going to grab a different color pen. Okay, so let's start with the clips. If I take 10 clips out of this side, and 10 clips out of this side, so that leaves me with 30 over here. That's one, that's one place to start. And then let's look at the pens here. If I get rid of these two pens altogether and I take two out of here so it remains in balance, I've got now I know that three pens is equal to 30 paper clips. And so I can say that one pen I would just take this amount, so imagine there's 30 paper clips. I'm going to divide it by three because I have three pens over here. So one pen is equal to 10 paper clips. All right, so for the last slide, you're going to create your own pan and balance problem, just like the ones we've been doing. And you're going to write out your, so you're going to write the problem. You can use the images or you can use letters to represent images. And then I want you to go through the process of balancing the pans and coming up with a solution.